and on from one uh, falling empire to a fallen one in Russia. Here is National Geographic's Sergei Gordeyev. He's going to take us on a journey in Ekaterinburg through the final days of the Romanov's dynasty. I think it's a big tragedy. Big tragedy for the country and for the world. For 300 years, the Romanovs ruled Russia as czars. Loved, feared, revered, respected. But all too often, those who fly highest fall furthest. World War I brought Russia to revolution. In 1917, Tsar Nicholas II was overthrown. Lenin's Bolsheviks seized control, and for 78 days, Nicholas, his wife Alexandra, and their five children, Alexei, Olga, Tatiana, Maria, and Anastasia, were imprisoned here in what used to be Nikolai Patyev's house, now the Church and the Blood in Yekaterinburg. On July 17, 1918, the royal family members and their staff were woken and told they were being transferred. They were escorted down here to what used to be the basement of the Apatyev house. The firing squad entered, and 20 minutes later, the 300-year reign of the Romanov dynasty was over. Russia died, and that moment when he was killed, Russia died too. Years later, after the fall of communism, the church was built to commemorate them as holy martyrs. But after the crime, the Bolsheviks did everything possible to erase the Romanovs from history. After the execution, the Romanov family was brought here to Ganinayama and dumped in this old iron mine. The Bolsheviks poured acid over the bodies and burnt them continuously for two days and three nights, trying to get rid of every last remnant of the Tsar's power. И поэтому мы почитаем их святыми, мучениками, потому что они настолько любили Россию, что были готовы отдать свою жизнь ради блага России. There is no simple way to look at the rule of the Romanovs, and many here feel that what followed was even worse. But now, from the ashes of Russia's past, comes the promise of Russia's future. It's certainly a very tragic chapter in Russian history, that one. Uh, be sure to catch more National Geographic stories from Sergei, including the Don Cossacks and Russia's home of rock and roll. That is daily for you on World Cup Live. Well, the anticipation certainly building in St. Petersburg Arena as the goalies make their way onto the pitch. Up next, we're going to go over the starting lineups for you as we get you ready for Brazil against Costa Rica. Stay with us for more.